these are some archer fish. They have an outside ex exhibit. And look, they got some cool jellies. And gelatinous fish out here. Pretty neat. You don't usually go outside, but they extend the things for COVID. And then over here were mud skippers. Let's see if we can see any of these guys. Oh, there's one. See him? Oh, look. There's one skip in the back of there. You see him, Mom? I see him. There's one over there. Yeah. Two over there. See this guy? They blend in. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's one right there. Yep. They didn't used to have anything outside. That's pretty cool. The outside, everything is separated and portioned out so that nobody bumps into anyone. We did do the lorikeet exhibit, but sorry, no footage. Just some pictures. It looks like we have to go back inside this way. is the main hall. Usually this place is packed when it's full and there's this gigantic fish tank and a scuba diver often comes down and is cleaning the tank and talks to the people from underwater which is pretty cool. You can see the sardines. They added those. A big old grouper up there. Tons and tons of fish. It's pretty awesome. Huge. And this way we have the giant whale. They have a little cafe, but it's kind of pricey here. Best to bring your own food from home or go somewhere else. Oh, there's a little alcove here I keep forgetting. It's a little tiny tank that used to have couches, but now we can't sit here. So we can walk through and enjoy them. Sorry guys, I couldn't do the tide pools upstairs. The lighting was just pretty bad. But this is simulating a tide as well. Not as rough as the upstairs one, but still pretty cool. Meets assortment of fish and sea anemones. So, it's pretty neat. Oh, it looks like they're upping the wave right there. So. Oh, is he dead? Oh, no, she's just like, I'm I'm just gonna lay here, no one loves me. I am sad and forlorn. It's okay, you're still awesome. Oh.